Principal started building its campus in 1939, more than 80 years ago, with the construction of its headquarters building at 711 High, designed by the Des Moines firm of Tinsley, McBroom, and Higgins. Principal Financial Group was then known as Bankers Life, and their beautiful Art Deco headquarters was hailed nationally as one of the most modern buildings in the country. In fact, Architectural Record Magazine christened it the Building of the Decade because of its many unique and innovative systems. The company's leadership clearly understood the building's significance, as well as impact it would have on the current and future employees. 75 years after it was designed, Principal had an opportunity to reimagine its environment and work practices. With the guidance of OPN architects, the insurance giant made a transformative renovation and restoration of its iconic headquarters and the entire campus at a cost of $400 million. This is the largest project downtown Des Moines has seen in years. In the 1980s, the company's growth brought a name change, the Principal Financial Group, and with it, a new building to reflect that growth, 801 Grand. They commissioned the firm of HOK out of St. Louis, which was known for its daringly modern forms. With 44 stories, the postmodern skyscraper had the distinction of being the tallest building in Iowa and has forever changed the downtown skyline. The top half of the granite tower features a series of terraces and setbacks, and the building is topped by an eight-sided pyramid clad with copper. It was named as one of the 50 most significant Iowa buildings of the 20th century by AIA Iowa. Another significant building on Principal's campus is 750 Park. Designed in 1996 by now deceased German-American star architect Helmut Jahn, whose work spans the globe. The Z Building, as it is referred to by some, reflects Jahn's interest in architecture that emphasizes engineering and innovative structure. A great asset to the campus is the award-winning landscape designed by Peter Walker of California, which creates a triangular plaza between buildings that is glorious to look out on, to sit in, or to walk through. You know, our single largest motivation was creating a workplace for the future, for our employees to come to work and be actually genuinely excited about being here. Now that was pre-pandemic, but things are sort of coming back to what we had first envisioned. Large open spaces for people to do their best work, allowing our customers to come in and have meetings and discussions with our employees. So the motivation in large part is built around our employees as well as our customers. You know, principal uh, and our predecessor name, the Banker's Life Insurance Company of Des Moines, Iowa. We've been around for 142 years. The very building we're standing in here today was started construction in 1938, finished in 1940. And our board of directors understands the Midwest values. It understands the importance of this building. So our board of directors was pretty quick to say, this is where we want to be long term. We want to enhance the experience, significant upgrade in technology, significant upgrade in the physical appearance and, and modernizing of the building. It was a seven year project. The essence was making sure that we kept everything that was historically important. These brass doors and the brass railings and the cupping that's occurred on the treads of the stairs as you go up and down. If it wasn't historically important, and as you know, buildings that get older in time, suspended ceilings and some other uh, features that have been added were not historically accurate. So we wiped those out. So it's the best of both worlds. It's all about the future, as well as embracing all the things that were so positive about the past. This very lobby that we're standing in, it's now four stories. It used to be just a story and a half. There's a 60 foot high, 16 foot wide, LED screen that every single one of our customers that comes in on the first floor or the second floor will see this. And we're able to use it as a way to communicate our core values here at Principal. The second feature is the atrium. This building was added on to twice after the original construction and it created a donut hole in the middle of the building. By lifting off that roof and moving it up to the top, to the seventh floor of the building, 
We created an atrium and it has become the area where our employees convene. It's where they can casually have a cup of coffee, do their work, and because the technology is so widespread throughout the building, there's no shortage of bandwidth for people to be able to do their work. And so the idea is, yeah, you can go to a what I'll call a traditional place to do your work, or you can do it in a hallway, you can do it in a convenient place, whatever is most suitable to you that allows you to do your best job here at the principal. One aspect of this building, which I still find very unique, is just like originally it was created in these open floor plates that allows people to see one another. They see the foot traffic. It doesn't have cubicles, so you can see people while at the same time the workstations and the acoustics were designed in a way that we could still have a private conversation and not have that leak out into the entire floors. And then also all of the skywalks connect the buildings at the same floor. It's at the third floor of the buildings. And so you can make complete loops. It's an easier building to navigate once we adjusted the skywalks to make it more convenient for foot traffic in the organization. Architects are an invaluable part of any building project and so obviously are the, the people involved in the actual construction. But that architect's vision, and I remember being in the atrium and it had been completely gutted. It was a black space, it was cold, it was January, it was cold. And I had a set of those VR goggles that allowed me to look throughout that space in a panoramic way and see exactly how that was going to look, including the art on the walls. And I think that the technology that's advanced construction and our ability to see the future, you get comfortable with making those decisions much quicker. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's the full package that the architect brings to the equation that really helps us uh, ensure that the end product is one that our employees and customers are really gonna put great value in.